Hello and welcome back to the Snapshots of Success program in part two of the module focusing on asthma action plans. Again, this activity is sponsored by the Respiratory and Allergic Disease Foundation and made possible through an educational grant from Genentech Novartis. In part one, we learned that uh, this fictional patient Rachel is a 28-year-old female with a long history of struggling with asthma. We caught up with Rachel before her first follow-up visit with Dr. Gold Sobel. Let's see what she has to say about her asthma plan. So Rachel, it's, it's been three weeks since you saw Dr. Gold Sobel. How have things been since then? Well, there definitely was a lot to take in, but I think I've had an improvement in my asthma. I'm not waking up at night, really, even after I visit my boyfriend's apartment. Well, tell me a little bit then about your visit with Dr. Gold Sobel. Uh, what did you learn? Well, I'm no stranger to doctors for this stuff. I've had allergies since forever, and even lots of colds when I was a little baby, so I've been like this for a long time. Dr. Gosebo was good because he talked with me and showed me a lot of good stuff about how to feel better. So, what did he tell you about your asthma? He showed me that it was out of control, and I never thought of it that way. I just thought of it as something that I lived with and dealt with. But he showed me my lung tests, and they, was, they were pretty bad. He told me I should have never been to the emergency room for my asthma. Well, you've been to the hospital for your asthma too, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of times, when things got bad. It started when I was a kid. They give me medicines, and I get better. So whatever. Now I'm pretty determined not to let that happen anymore. So I have some medicine and a plan to follow and I promise myself that I do better. So you have a plan for your asthma? Yes, Dr. Gosebel made me write it out so I wouldn't forget. Oh, you have it right there? Yeah, right here. So without looking, can you tell me what's in it? Uh, you didn't say it'd be a test. So we won't show Dr. Goldsobel, but can you tell us what you remember? So there's a couple parts. First he told me when I, sh when I should call his office, if my asthma ever gets worse. I'm not supposed to wait till it really gets bad, so I can't breathe before I call him, so that's good. That sounds fair. What else? Well, I got a lot of chores to get my house and stuff in order. Now I already had the rugs pulled up, and I'm a clean freak, so that was easy for me. My boyfriend was another story. So, he's not a clean freak like you, then? That boy's house is a mess. He doesn't have dust bunnies, he has dust elephants. And I keep telling him that his mess is making me sick, and he thinks I'm joking, but I mean it literally. His mess is making me sick. Now, tell me about the cat. I, I understand that the cat exposure has become a little bit of a problem for you. The cat, yeah, it's been a bit of a problem. I think he loves that cat more than he loves me. I would like to say it's me or the cat, but I don't want to know the answer. The cat's real old. I'm going to be here a lot longer than it. So apparently, getting rid of the cat isn't an option. So we got some good tips for dealing with it. And I got to say, he's been doing a good job of it. He's keeping the place cleaner, got an air filter for the house. He's even cleaning up the cat with the wet rag, the thing before I come over. I also keep some clothes at my place, so when he comes over, he puts the cat clothes in a plastic bag and puts on some clean ones. Okay, so what kind of medications do you have? What kind of medications don't I have? So, do you remember what they're all for? To be honest, I know that albuterol is just for my symptoms. I take it when I get tight or when I'm out of breath. I take before and after exercise, which I never knew, and I take it a little before I go see my boyfriend or go somewhere that there's a cat or a lot of dust. Anything else that you do maybe only take certain times? Um, oh, uh, yeah, I've got eye drops and two pills. For when I'm going someplace, I might get allergic. One is a prescription, the other one is right over the counter. I was miserable, so I'll try anything. So far, it seems to work. So, I understand that you are also on a controller medication. That's right. I'm supposed to take it in the morning and night, no matter if I'm feeling good or bad. How often do you forget to take it? Oh, you know, I don't forget to take it. I'm, I'm pretty good with it now. So, do you think this plan will help you see improvements in your life? I don't know. 
I mean, I guess we have to see. I just got used to feeling bad all the time, and feeling bad just got normal. Does that make sense? I think the cat thing and not being able to see my boyfriend really made it sink in. What is the next step for you? Well, I promised the doctor I'd see him again, so that's a week from now. I'm still not perfect, and he said my goal is to really feel good. He did tell me that my allergies are a big part of this asthma, so there's some other medicines or allergy shots that he might be able to try if this stuff doesn't work. Last question. Are you happy with your plan? Let's see if it works before I can really tell you that. Let's say this. I'm really happy that I have a plan. It makes me feel more secure. Well, thank you, Rachel. You're welcome. This concludes our module on asthma action plans. For more information and a full CME accredited activity, visit us at www.rad-foundation.org. Take care and thank you very much.